The, the, the author I'd really like to get to know better is Philip Roth. I think Philip Roth is the most erudite, um, most um, engaging in the intellectual sense um, author living today. <laughs> well, you know, would they want to spend the afterlife with me? <laughs> Um, I think I wouldn't mind speaking with Galileo. I, I wrote an opera about Galileo and um, he fascinates me as a Renaissance man and a man who was able to um, both involve the literature as well as the sciences. Um, an incredible intellect. Yes, he'd be the one. The one that I'm, I'm, I most liked was Kate Cerides' The Good Master. It's a magnificent um, children's uh, story. And actually, I had a teacher called Miss Hossack at Te Hapara Primary School. And every day, she would read a chapter from The, the Good Master. And I just couldn't wait to get to, get to school just to hear what was going to happen next in that, in that wonderful children's story. So really, you know, we, we owe a lot to, to our teachers at primary schools because they're the ones who first introduce us to, to literature. Oh, happiness is when um, uh, you're able to make your world go right for you. Well, you know what, I mean, I actually don't even know if I am a writer. I mean, <laughs> I, I was very, very fortunate to find something that I was good at. Um, but if I wasn't a writer, I'd be a farmer. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a farmer's son, and I've always just loved farming and being around the society of real and ordinary people. What's occupying my thoughts? Um, how grateful I am to be Māori, to live in a country like New Zealand at the end of the, wor end of the world, and still be able to write splendid literatures that can subvert the way in which the world thinks of itself. <laughs>